August 2nd is Earth Overshoot Day. This means it is the day where they will have reached uh, the amount of emissions that are allowable within a year if we want to stem uh, climate change. Clearly, we are well ahead of the end of the year and actually every country in this world reaches Overshoot Day before the end of December. So it is a useful time to remind ourselves of everything we can do to decarbonize so that we can have a chance of living on a healthy planet. Now, every sector is going to have to do this. Every country is going to have to do this. But as I work in healthcare, I'm delighted that there are so many things that we can do to improve the quality of care and reduce emissions at the same time. We can really improve health for both people and for the planet at the same time. It seems to be an opportunity not to be missed. And just to give you some examples, anything you can do to improve energy efficiency or move to clean renewable energy will be helpful. Anything that you can do to maintain your own good health so that you don't need to um, use hospitals when it's unnecessary will also be helpful. And, you know, there are some health sector specific examples where, for instance, we could be changing the types of uh, anaesthetic gases that are used, removing the use of desflurane wherever possible, because it is a gas that is very damaging to the planet. Um, the same with prescribing medicines. You know, there are ways of prescribing that are more effective, that will improve health and health care. And so we have got so many opportunities to help improve the planet, help improve the health of people. So please join us in taking note of these overshoot days and accelerating action. Thank you so much for your input. Thank you.